What's happening guys? Gemma here and back again for another video and this time we are back at the Doncaster Retro Game Fair having a mammoth look around the beautiful retro games and retro game consoles for offer. Take a sit back and watch this video in its entirety because if you don't you're really 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 gonna miss some wicked things and as seen here there are also some professional pictures that Jess took for me and we did the footage as well so there's gonna be kind of a mixture of some nice footage and then we're going to break to have some shots, um, some pictures, sorry, of some really, really cool things. And I really love this video. I'm so stoked. And on Wednesday, there will be an amazing retro game haul video coming your way. I literally surprise myself every time I go to these events. I'm just honestly blown away with some of the stuff that I picked up. I tried to go in with some quality stuff over quantity because that is kind of becoming the natural place of my collection I guess I have the bulk of the games I'm now going for really expensive stuff rather than quantity so please sit back please enjoy and please subscribe and there is an entire playlist of retro game hunts on my channel now we're just taking a good look around here and um, some really really nice Japanese stuff on offer throughout this market I was surprised there was probably more Japanese stuff than I'd seen at previous markets so I'm all up for that it's really nice to see some new stuff shout out to Vintage Gamer this is Nick's stall I'll be going back down to his shop very soon to do a retro game hunt as you guys can see we've got some Jaguar CD games along with just some Atari Jaguar games just slightly at the back there Nick always has phenomenal stock in it's nice to see some link stuff there and um, i did buy a couple of a sega mega cd games from him which you will see in wednesday's video um but vintage gamer go check them out they're actually on my website as well but let's take a look at some shots and then we'll come back and we'll continue to get some footage So we're diving back with some plushies actually and there were a plethora of plushies in fact as we were walking in about half past 12 I saw this guy come out with like I must have it must have been like a two and a half foot Pikachu and I said to Jess oh my goodness I've been looking for one of them for so long <laughs> like I want to have it in the lady lounge um, next to the smaller Pikachu and my Yoshi and my other plushies here on the sofa so gutted I missed that one but anyway there were loads of really nice not just games consoles but peripherals lights and um, beads you'll see a ton of stuff coming up I think we actually covered every single thing at this market as we typically do and as I said earlier with the Japanese stuff it was so so cool to see and I nearly 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 bought these I was considering them um, but I, I thought to myself am I going to use them are they going to look good on display I can live without them I can live without the cases but let me know in the comment section below if you buy cases for your retro game collection they were huge back in the day because obviously we had to take our consoles to our friends and those things were just so cool and I want to give a shout out to these lovely people here, the Super Retro Brothers. I love these guys. Make sure, I'll, in fact, I'll put a code on the screen now. If you use this on their website, you can get 10% off using my code. They're also linked on my website. You can access them through that. Now, another thing that I was considering but changed my mind on at the last minute was a 3DO. The one I had broke um, and there was one unboxed here for sale for £125. And there were some games as well but I was like again it was one of those I was kind of on the fence and there were other things that I wanted so I just decided to leave it I'm not sure what I think about the 3DO as a player I think as a collector it can be quite nice because they are becoming quite obscure and but let me know what you think did I miss a bargain there at 125 for the console unboxed or should I have picked it up and is it something that you recommend I kind of go out and collect I don't know later you know maybe at different markets or something 
Um, now, the, if these, like I said, if games aren't your thing, uh, we got action figures, cards. I mean, there's a ton of stuff at this market. I'm not sure when the next one was, as the sign at the door only had the 2020 dates. Fingers crossed replay will be putting another one on because I really, really love these. But unfortunately, there weren't as many vendors there um, because Birmingham Gaming Market was on as well on the same day. So I presume everybody else went down there. But guys, let's take a look at some more pictures and then we'll come back to more footage. Wicked, wicked stuff. Doesn't Jess take an awesome picture? Thank you very much to Jess again for taking those pictures. We actually had my DSLR, but unfortunately the lens we'd put on and the lighting wasn't great. I just kind of filmed pretty much everything on my phone. She took some really stellar pictures. Now I am just going to say this. Quite a few people came up to me and said hi. Um, and I want to give a shout out to Rob and Callum. Um, Rob was the father of Callum, who was I think maybe nine, ten years old, bless him he was a big fan of the channel and there's something cool that um like i'm gonna do a little video about him as, as his dad reached out to me after so that's all i'm gonna kind of say but we did take a really nice picture and it was really good to meet people i love saying hi and i love actually knowing what you've bought it gives me a chance to kind of stand there and talk to you about how you find in the day and it's just really really cool so thank you to everyone that said hi and tagged me on the pictures on social media. Now, PlayStation 1 stuff, I kind of go into these things and I'm like, you know what? I ain't buying any PlayStation 1 games because they're quite easy to come by. But this little pile here, there was some more obscure, I mean, maybe hard to find, less common kind of titles. Um, like this one, never even heard of it. Roscoe Monsters, was that? Ros Roscoe McQueen, I do apologise. But right at the end, as I was kind of lurking and Jess has gone outside, I did pick up a PlayStation 1 game, which I'd been after for quite some time. It's missing manual though, but that's absolutely cool. Now, 3DO games were here and that was gnarly to see. And I think it was MNX that messaged me on Instagram recently and was like, you know, what's, you know, any 3DO games kicking about? And it's not a console, like I said, <clears throat> that I have but it might be one that I'm kind of venturing towards. So I hope to see more 3DO games at the Doncaster Gaming Fair, and in fact, any retro gaming market going forward. There's a little shout out to the retailers. Um, now, I, I went in with the intention of wanting to get Snatcher on the Mega CD, but this was the first market I went to, um, and nobody had it. Nobody had a copy of Snatcher. I've seen it go from about £275 upwards, um 300 pound i'm i wouldn't be willing to pay 300 but again if any of you guys know anybody that's selling a copy of snatcher let me know um yeah it's cool splatoon that's cool to see forgot about them as i'm watching back doing this edit that is pretty gnarly and then switching over i actually bought jess's nephew so like our nephew in the states bought him a game boy color we were looking around and we like we kind of promised him one a while back and we've not really seen one that we like but we did manage to pick up an unboxed game boy color for him so we're going to give that little clean send it out to the states because believe it or not he is a huge gamer and that is good to know that is good to see he always talks to me about gaming um, and I actually sent him one of my double bit boys because I had a couple of bit boys so I well Jess actually posted it out so he's got one of them so that's really really cool uh, we got some nice tidy Sega Mega Drive games here guys I think it was this one we actually purchased really nice decent screen but we're gonna go to some pictures now and again we're gonna come back so don't go anywhere
pay attention gamers to those Sega Mega Drive consoles because I stood at that stall, it was Danny's stall, bless her, um, and we actually spent quite a bit of money with Danny. She has loads of games and, and I was kind of talking to her. Uh, she's actually moving out to the States and selling off her personal collection. So if her stock is anything to go by at every single one of these markets, she has one of the best collections I've ever come across. It's her personal collection. Um, and then life circumstances change and now she's moving so she needs to downsize and I completely empathize with that or, although it's not something I would ever do again but she has some wicked stuff and she's super cool and I'm just praying uh, she's at a couple more markets that I go to before she goes now OG Xbox we've got Jurassic Park there at 40 pounds again OG Xbox PS2 I can go to CEX and buy these. I'm not overly fussed about scoring them unless something juicy really pops up at retro game fairs. But if you specifically go to these markets for PlayStation 2 titles or original Xbox titles, like what are they? Or what would they be? What would be your go to um, CD based games if you would? Um, even, I guess, even the Japanese stuff. There we go. We've got some Sega Saturn Japanese games right here as well. Now I was talking with Alan, he has um, one of the biggest stalls there of Japanese games, consoles and I asked him about a Sony PSX and he did say that he has one coming from Japan, uh, it should be arriving in about a month, I know they break quite a bit, um, they're really really difficult to find here in the UK but over in Japan you can get them for quite cheap, they go on Japanese, is it like Yahoo sales for like 20 quid up to about 80. Most of them, like I say, don't work. And I guess you don't really know what you're getting and it's quite difficult, I think, um, communicating with some sellers in Japan purely for the time difference, if anything else. It can be quite difficult. Um, but I will be interested in buying a Sony PSX. Like I said, I'm really trying to take my collection in a direction that stands out. And I do believe that it's really going that way. I mean, I have some really rare stuff, some really obscure stuff and I'm gonna go as far to say as I believe my console collection and my game collection is better than Metal Jesus Rocks. There we go, run and tell him, I know there's plenty of people that always tell him stuff, um, I just think the majority of stuff that he shows on his channel is are other people's, as, aside from that um, 64 double D, a lot of it is other people's, whereas this, everything you see here is mine with my, uh, oh my god, everything, it, you guys have followed me for some years now, there's loads of stuff in here and I'm so so proud of it. So just before we take another look at a photo reel, um, I, I again I try to kind of show as much as I can, um, even if it's like Mega Drive games that we've seen before or GBA games that we've seen before. You know, this is a true representation of the day, and it's really nice to capture it. Don't forget also, guys, if you do see yourself, if you catch yourself in this video, make sure you leave a timestamp in the comments. I love that because if I was going to these markets and somebody else was filming, I would definitely, definitely be looking. I'm like, where am I? Where am I? Um, again, back at Super Retro Brothers got this hot rock red limited edition DS for 125. I wouldn't pay 125 for it, but I do believe it's worth 125 to somebody. Go and check these guys out and use my code here. So this was also at Danny's store and that watch right there was an employee watch from the 90s. Um, she was selling it for £100 and I really, really wanted it but it didn't come with any paperwork. If it, it had all the paperwork in the box, you know, in, in a bit more of a, like a cleaned up state, I, I probably would have had that because that's the kind of stuff that I really, really love on these markets. So it's just a shame, Danny, if you do, if you are watching this video and you do come across the paperwork or anything that you have that you find, just give me a shout on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or leave a comment on here 
and I will buy that from you because I just thought it was like really cool and you know it's not always about the games and that's what I've, I've learned about these markets over the years is that it's 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 everything it's it's who's your comic book geeks um your magazine geeks which i didn't see sega mags there i was quite surprised but they must have gone to birmingham instead uh, but there were a couple of stalls selling guides and magazines so there's a little bit of something for everyone now i came back here to vintage gamer and look at this night trap for 35 quid had i not have gotten that had i had i not have owned it um i would have completely bought that because that is an absolute bargain. If ever you see a table full of controllers, I suggest you walk towards it because there's nothing better than seeing the colours pop. Oh my God, for some reason, nostalgia really hits me when I see tables like that. As many games as there are, I mean, I think it's because they stand out so much. Like games, you need to be super, super close to them. You need to maybe have good eyesight to read some of the text, but you know a Nintendo 64 controller when you see one. I mean, they're so iconic and that was one of the stalls. I wanted one of the controllers that actually it was the yellow PlayStation 2 transparent controller, but it was just like, it, I wanted just to pay like two pound less because it's not something I desperately need. It was just one of those kind of off the cuff, but he wouldn't give it to me for two pound less. So that's cool. Um, like I say, if I really, really wanted it, I would have paid it, but it wasn't something I massively wanted. I literally think I only had a, a tenner left in, in cash at the time and he didn't take a card. So I couldn't even like pay on my card. So, but whatever, that's cool. I loved seeing it anyway. And then these cool things for like five quid, you know, if you've got like loose, um, which I have PlayStation 2, Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, I have a ton of stuff and they were like a fiver each. Absolute bargain. I actually think I have the PlayStation 1 somewhere. Um, sneaky little look in. I did pick them both up amongst other awesome things, but you're going to have to wait until Wednesday's pickup video to see exactly what I got. Now we got some nice loose cart stuff here. Um, and then, like I said, more Japanese stuff. It's so good to see. Has there been like a boom in the Japanese retro gaming market? Like what has been going on? Um, let me know in the comment section below if you can actually answer that as well. Um, and it's always nice to see some reskinned GBA. I um, think they were going for £25, so not too shabby at all. But we have more pictures here. I hope you guys are enjoying it so far. We ain't done. We ain't done. We're going big or we're going home. Enjoy these pictures and then we'll get back to more footage. So those travel mugs were super, super cool. Absolutely love them. I did buy Jess a couple of things as well. Um, and I think this particular order that I've done this market in is exactly the order I went in as I was going around the stores. I've tried not to kind of chop and change the edit too much. So we are winding down to the end of the market now. If the people that run and organize this market at Replay are watching, it was far too hot. It was so, so hot. I don't know if we can get more uh, doors open next time or just anything. I don't know. Um, but this clocked my eye, the Honeybee adapter. I have an unboxed Honeybee adapter. It's cool to see it boxed. I've never seen them box actually. Um, this was a really cool stall. Really, really cool stall. I just had, like I say, I had a quick, quick look in this at the end. I think this was the stall I bought the PlayStation 1 title from. 
Uh, fortunately, I took PayPal because <laughs> saved my bacon a little bit there. Uh, that's super, super cool. And you know what? What by this time it was about two o'clock, and things were starting to die down. I think that if you go into these markets and you don't like the crowds, it probably is a good time to go around two p.m. Maybe kind of like half one onwards because you could move around freely where it's it can get shoulder to shoulder and when it's on a hot day like it was it was just insane but we had a ton of fun um again thank you to jess for taking the pictures if you guys are still here then i thank you so much i want you guys to let me know if there's anything you would have bought because you know what like let's face it we could have all just bought so much more stuff i know i kind of get so greedy when i go to these markets because it's like sensory overload of everything you love about your hobby about your childhood um, everything is just packed here and it's like you have a couple of hours just to look around it all and relish in it um, but we're gonna wind the video down now guys if you're watching this video on a desktop you'll see a join button next to the subscribe button if you want to level up and help me take my content further hit that join button if you don't that's absolutely fine hit that subscribe button or if you don't want to do that just enjoy the video but guys i hope you have a good one and um, all sponsors will be named after every single video on the end slides have a great day i will catch you on wednesday's video on the pickups enjoy take care au revoir